I've read that the conception of Tony Soprano is founded on your own relationship with your mother. And therefore you propose the idea of a mobster who went to therapy. Um, and then it became something that went on for six seasons. Would you, would you have rather had a normal childhood and, and more stability? Are you glad that you came from the background you did because it allowed you to uh, live a life that otherwise you probably wouldn't have been able to have? God, I, I just don't know how to answer that. But I, <clears throat> I will say that I, I, I did have a very happy childhood, actually. Happy and safe. Um, my mother was problematic. There's no doubt about it. And I'm not the only one that felt that way. Most cousins and aunts uh, felt that my mother was out there someplace. And you see the personality of Livia. Um, That was kind of what my mother was like. But the other day, I was in my room, my bedroom, and I looked and I had placed this little statue of the Buddha on top of a cabinet. And it's a thing called the Happy Buddha, which is kind of like a, a fat, a chubby Buddha with his robe kind of opened up top and little rolls of fat. And then I remember that my mother gave me that, of all people, um, when I was about 14 or 15. So I don't know how to deal with that whole subject. What part of parental behavior do we put down to their personality and what element of it do we put down to the times? Like it was a very stressful time for women in general in 1950s, 1960s America in terms Mm -hmm. of nearly oppression and misogyny. So you can kind of only imagine how they must have transferred a lot of that uh, inequality in certain ways. Do you know what I mean? I suppose so. I mean, my my I, my father was not an oppressor. Uh, my father did not treat my mother in any particular way because she was a woman. Um, <laughs> he treated her in the way he had to because she was so out there. Um, Do you mean out there as in terms of like quick to express an opinion or someone who... Uh, quick to express an opinion and the... Pre- the opinion would be so qu- questionable and crazy that, um, but then that was constant. That was just the way she was. She was, uh, she had, uh, I forget whether it was nine or 11 sisters. She had, I think she had 11 siblings. And two of them were brothers. Um, and they were all, all the kids in that family, my aunts and uncles, were very demonstrative, um, loud, you might say. But my mother was like none of the others. She was, uh, my cousin once said that my mother was only into, into her own thoughts and everything else, the rest of the universe was on the periphery. And I thought that was pretty accurate. Would you have found her discouraging? Um, towards any kind of things you might have dreamt of. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. But I don't. I don't think she was that that different from other kids of that era. I, you know, she had she had gone through the Great Depression and World War Two, and she had been born into, if not poverty, certainly into was a situation of lack, lack of material niceties. And I think her main concern, well, I was going to say that her main concern was that I earn enough money, but that was not, not her main concern. Her main concern was that I would wind up in a career that was something that she could be proud of. Um, because with the rest of her problems came a certain amount of narcissism. Of course, she'd be the first one to tell you that there was nothing narcissistic about her. Um, but she thought about herself and her safety con- constantly. She wanted you to be something that she could 
show off nearly as somebody who enjoyed a hard day's work and nearly had to struggle himself because she nearly was addicted to the concept of complaining in a way. She was addicted to the concept of complaining. She complained constantly. But what she wanted for me was to be something that was unassailably respectable, which would have been a teacher, uh, a lawyer, possibly. And then she had a f- one friend who was in the United States Foreign Service, who was pro- a woman who was probably a secretary. She was not a diplomat, um, who had been all over the world. And my mother wanted that for me. What about religion? Was she was she into God? She she was, but I heard more about that in her later years than I did um, growing up. But they okay. sent me to Sunday school, and um, but they didn't go to church. Then my mother started going to church when I was about I don't know thirteen or fourteen. Um, my father said that he was an agnostic. And you see, our family was a little bit off-center because although we're Italian-American, I mean, 100% Italian, um, we are Protestant. Um, So, you know, as a kid, I never felt, I didn't like going to church for the usual reasons. Kids don't like it. But I also didn't like it because I didn't feel like I was in the right place. And I didn't feel like all those Protestant people in the church, all those people named Smith and Jones. And, mm. um, Shared your values. Liked me or my parents. 